Hello everybody, we are back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild. Apologies if there's any echo or anything like that. I just moved into a new place and I don't have all of my uh, soundproofing foam and things like that put up yet. I'm still waiting for some of it to arrive and hopefully that'll happen soon because there is a noticeable echo for me at least. I don't know how it's going to come through on video. Let's hope it's not too bad. But anyway, you guys wanted to see another random wheel video, so we're going to be doing that today. I figure that's the best way to get back into it. So let's go ahead and select the correct wheel because I am still on the scopes one. And let the spinning begin. Well, that is an interesting selection of guns and sights, so, I mean, let's just get into this. This is going to be a fun one. You know, it's really not every day that I can say I went out to Parque Fernando with a Tritium Sights 243 and a 300 Magnum with the night vision scope. That's just not really something that ever happens, so this is going to be a really interesting video, and I think because of that, maybe we'll have to hunt some water buffalo at night. I don't even know how that would go. But if I can figure out where they actually are around that time, then we will definitely check it out because that could be kind of interesting. Oh my gosh, that is a huge mule deer. And you know what? I think that rack actually has a chance of being diamond if I'm not mistaken. It is such a low chance of it actually happening, but I believe that guy could make it. And I also heard some access deer, so we'll kind of look around for those as well just to see if any of them are anything decent. But I think that mule deer is going to be our main concern as of now. Well, it looks like we have a little bit of company as we're looking for this mule deer, so we could probably try to take this guy down first. I'm curious to see what the 243 is going to do with iron sights. I really don't feel like this will go well, but we got to try it just because. All right, well, let's see if we can get this to work out. I think he should be just down from us if I'm not mistaken, and I may have been mistaken. That's not good. I mean, there's always a chance that he fled, but... He's actually right there. He is alarmed, and now he's fleeing. Ah, oh, he's behind a tree. Well, that uh, put a little bit of a damper on that stock. Unfortunately, we're going to have to go find ourselves something else. Or, I mean, maybe we could chase that guy down. I'm not going to worry about it too much, though. That mule deer is a little bit more important of a trophy, I guess, because it does actually have a chance of making diamond. So we'll probably just try to figure out where that guy went. And I guess also while I'm thinking about it, since I had a ton of people asking for me to show a setup tour or something like that of my current setup that I'm working with here at the uh, new place that I just moved into, uh, this is what we're currently working with. This is a temporary setup. It is kind of small. I I'd definitely like some more room, but as of now, this was the only thing I was able to get going. I still need to find a bigger desk, but... For now, this works out, uh, even with the weird mic positioning and strange setup with that, but, I mean, it, whatever works, right? Ooh, there he is. We finally found him. 160 meters out. Let's put the stock on this guy and try to get him down because that is such a beautiful buck. I really love this rack. It really makes me wish that this rack was, I guess, one of the more commonly diamond racks to get. I know this one does have a small chance of making it, but it would be really cool if this was one of the main diamond racks. I've always wished that it could be. So because that it really doesn't make diamond that often, the second best thing is to find a rare with this rack, which I haven't been able to do either. So I think that's going to be about as good of a shot as we're going to get 111 meters with the tritium iron sights. I think this is doable. Maybe not. Maybe not. I actually don't know where I'm supposed to aim with that, so maybe that wasn't a good idea to attempt. Yeah, he's definitely not hit. Well, that went great. So the question that I have for these tritium sights is, do I aim directly between the two dots? Do I aim with the tiny dot in the middle? Or do I aim in the center of the circle? Like, I don't really know what to go with here. So I'm going to have to do a little bit of practice with that, probably off camera, but that was not a great first attempt. 
But you know, one of the things that makes Call of the Wild fun is the fact that there will be a lot of failed attempts at things, and when you finally do get a successful attempt, it's gonna make it that much better. And we actually do have a really big red deer coming back here, so we might get a chance at something decent after all while we're waiting for that mule deer. I'm gonna go out on a limb and probably guess that this mule deer is gonna give us more trouble than it's worth. Yeah, there he is. There is that giant stag. I think we can just get him right here. Wow, we hard shot him. Okay, that went way better than I expected it to. How do we go from completely missing on that mule deer to hard shotting a red deer in a matter of like two minutes? That is crazy. Yeah, I don't think I will ever top that shot with iron sights. That was probably one of the best shots I've made in a very long time. And I did not even expect that to happen. That's crazy. But let's go ahead and pick this guy up right here and see where we got him. Yeah, that was a perfect hard shot. A 221.30 scoring red deer. Very good way to start things off, though it is not the mule deer we're after. However, we just got host of this server. Which means we can go change the time to mule deer time and try to figure out where this guy drinks. Well, so far I don't see the mule deer that we've been after, but there is a really nice red deer over here. It's actually the mythical that we missed out on earlier. So maybe we can get a chance at this guy again. He is nervously drinking, so there's a chance that if we mess this up again, he's not coming back. I did just change the time and it's at the very end of their drink time because I was hoping to look for some mule deer instead. So, we might be able to get this guy, but if we miss the shot again, he's probably out of here. Alright, if I can't hit this shot, then I don't deserve to be a Call of the Wild Hunter. Let's just go ahead and do that. And we did manage to get the shot. I was gonna say, if I end up missing that one, then I have absolutely no excuse, I'm just bad. Well, that's not exactly the blood I was hoping to see. Yeah, we, we definitely didn't hit vitals. This guy is not gonna die. Well, there's our first water buffalo of the day, and to be honest, I don't see level 4 males that often, so I do want to take that down, because it seems like most males I find are level 5 or above. It's not super common that I see a level 4 male, but that could just be the fact that I don't hunt the water buffalo all that often. But I mean, it is the first water buffalo of the day, so we might as well take it down. Let's just go ahead and grab this guy as we run by 106.50. That is a very, very small male. That's actually a pretty crazy looking level 4 mule deer. I think we'll try to get closer and take this guy out because that rack actually looks really nice. I think if nothing else, this is a rack I don't see too often, so it's going to be cool to get it on the ground and get a closer look at it because it does look pretty nice from this angle. So I think this should be a makeable shot. If we can do this, we're going to try and use the 45 Colt. Just so we can get some use out of it. I'd hate to have it in the loadout and not at least shoot something with it. No matter how much I dislike this gun. Uh, let's go ahead and just try to get this to work. That's a very long shot, but I think we might be able to actually make it work. From what I remember, the 45 Colt has decent penetration. It's just got terrible kill time. And it's also kind of funny, I've talked about how much I hate this gun many, many times. And we keep getting it in random wheel videos. I feel like that is uh, not a coincidence. It seems like uh, this gun is just out to get me. Hey, what do you know, it actually did get penetration on both of these deer. That's good to see at least. That's one thing, like I said, about the 45 Colt. It at least has the penetration to where you know you'll probably kill it. If you can manage to at least hit in the lung area. And if you end up missing a vital organ, there's a good chance it won't ever die, which I guess that's another upside to it. As much as I dislike that gun, I can't deny the fact that it is pretty useful if you want to make sure that you don't fully mess something up if you end up missing vitals. You'll at least get a second shot with it. Well, this is the first one we shot, and it actually looks like it's a 50-50 rack, so that would be why it looked so strange, and oh gosh, that is... <laughs> That is just such a huge difference between the left and right antler. That's crazy. Oh, I just realized 45 Colt's not even usable on these things. Does the 45 Colt max at like class 4 or 5? It must because Mule Deer are class 6. Interesting. Really interesting. 
Oh yeah, it is two to five. You know, for some reason I thought it was the same as the 243 and was a two to six, but I, I guess that's not the case. So I guess that leaves us with our second buck, which is definitely a smaller one. And once again, shot with the wrong gun, but it, it still made it into vitals. And that's really what we were hoping for there. It's just unfortunate this was not a ethical caliber. But that is another nice level four mule deer down. I'm really hoping we can find a diamond off this server because it looked like it would be a good server, but so far no diamonds, just a lot of nice level fours. Oh my gosh, look at what is, oh, okay. Well, we found a diamond potential mule deer. Uh, this is not how I wanted to find it though. That is one of the ugliest racks I think I've ever seen my entire time playing. Just want to make sure nobody's chasing me since that thing went alert like really fast. I'm going to assume it's the wind, but that is the ugliest mule deer I think I've ever seen. This is the really squiggly rack. Man, what a uh, diamond potential to find. And from what I understand, this thing doesn't even have a guaranteed shot at making diamond. I think this rack can troll. I'm pretty sure Flinter got trolled by one of these and then I've seen some other people get diamonds. This is going to be interesting. I'm just glad we finally found something, but the wind is just terrible. There's literally nothing we can do in my opinion. I think we're probably just going to have to let it spook off. Although, it actually might have calmed down. We might actually be good. And now what's going to be really interesting is we can only use the 243 with tritium sights for this shot. and. I have not been the greatest with that this video, so I'm really worried that we're going to mess this up. So we're going to try and get as close as we can without spooking it before we even think about taking a shot because I really don't trust myself. So I think we should be good on wind direction now. The question is, can we get close enough without spooking this thing? There's a good chance it will spook and then we'll have to wait for it to come back, but I am okay with that as long as we can get a close, easy to make shot. I mean, to be honest, this could be him right here even. It's just so hard to tell because I don't know if he's moved at all. Oh, it is. Well, that did not go as well as I would have liked it to. And my gosh, that glitchy rack is something else. But to be honest, we're in a pretty decent position now because when he comes back, he's not going to be downwind of us, which is good. And we've got a bush that actually hides us. So hopefully this will work out. Uh, that's not good though. It looks like they're all traveling now. Man, these deer are acting so, so weird. All of that herd has started traveling in this direction. That's not good for us at all because now we're going to have to chase this guy down. Oh, he's coming back. He's actually coming back and I think we just alerted him and that might break the, uh, the pathing of him coming back. Hopefully it doesn't. Well, I hear some deer. Question is, is it our buck or is it one of the does? And it's it's definitely a doe. Okay, let's stay down. That buck should come over here very soon. Hopefully Hunter will stay out of the way. Well, I can tell where our deer is. <laughs> um, I guess that's the one good thing about him being kind of weird with the rack. Uh, we can see that lightsaber looking thing from a mile away. Well, this is probably best case scenario, to be honest. He is nervously drinking really far away from his original drink zone, and he's not downwind of us, so we can actually make a proper stock now, and he's not in a weird spot either. We can actually get a good clear view of him. I think we're finally going to get him down. All right, so we have to be close now. I could not imagine this guy being too much further than where I put down that marker. We got to be extra careful. I don't want to spook this guy off again. We've spooked him way too much and it's just made this chase excessively long. Hopefully we can finally seal the deal here. There he is 72 or 76 meters. Oh, this is almost over. Finally, finally, we've almost got this guy down. All right. I think it's time time to attempt this shot right here. I think that should do it. Let's just hope that was vitals. I hope it is. It's the 243, so it's going to die very slow regardless, but please let that be vitals. No, it wasn't vitals, I don't think. No, it definitely wasn't. Oh, no. I don't know what to do now. This has been 
just such an up and down hunt. But the 243 is all we have to take him down and it's not working out very well. Well, we tracked him down and he is limping pretty badly. He hasn't lost a lot of health though, which is good. So I think it was a non-vital hit, or not a non-vital hit, but I think we did completely miss the organs, which means he should come back and we should be able to get a second shot on him. I'm just going to stay in this bush this time. I'm not going to move at all. I just hope he comes back through this path. You know, we might get lucky here. They are walking in front of us without really noticing us until they get really close. If we can just get this buck to show himself, I think this will maybe be where we can finally seal the deal. This, this chase has just gone on for so much longer than I ever would have expected. And that's him right there. That's him right there. Oh my gosh. We need to get him to come over here, but I don't know if that's going to be possible. Uh, this is, once again, just going completely opposite of what I would have preferred. And it's all because we don't have a scope that we can use. The random wheel really screwed us over on this one. So we unfortunately do have somebody target practicing at the range behind us, but I went ahead and switched the time and I just saw the flash of that guy's antlers, so he's definitely here. He's got to be here. So if we're lucky enough, maybe we can get him to finally... Yeah, if you see right there, you can kind of see the uh, glitchiness of his antlers. Well, we're going to try and call it in. Let's just hope that this works out. This is our last hoorah right here. Please just work, please. Well, here comes the moment of truth. Will this guy be attracted to the call? Wait a second. Okay, I definitely hear something. The deer are definitely right on top of us now. Oh no. Where's our buck? I don't see our buck. This is all does. I did not actually think they were attracted to the call. I need to back up now. I actually thought that they weren't attracted to the caller. But it looks like they are. I'm pretty sure I just saw the flash of this guy's antlers. Yes, we definitely did. He's really close. Can we finally seal the deal on this giant buck? He is right next to us. Oh my gosh, he is so close. But I can't see him, so I can't take a shot. What just happened there? Did I hit this limb? I am just absolutely crushed after that shot. I don't know what could have possibly happened. Because we certainly didn't hit it. Wow, that was one of the weirdest shots I think I've ever took. How did that not connect? That should have been perfectly fine. And now we've got to wait once again. Well, at least with this giant spotlight on this guy's forehead, it's a little bit easier to figure out where he is, but I'm still just so, so baffled and bummed about that shot. I don't know what could have possibly gone wrong there unless maybe one of those branches blocked the shot, which is possible, but it didn't look like anything was blocking me. There he is, 50 meters away. And he's facing us again. This is just not going to go our way. This buck is the most elusive buck I've ever tried to take down in Call of the Wild. Like, I don't think anything I've ever found in this game previously compares to how difficult this guy has been to take down. You know, I'm all for a challenge, but this is kind of ridiculous. Here we go. Again? I am convinced that this buck is a ghost, that he's not even real, and <laughs> this right here it also makes him not even look like a real deer. But this, this is just so baffling. Once again, we had another shot that just seemingly went straight through him. The only thing I can think of is maybe the action of uncrouching while aimed down sights is causing some type of inaccuracy. 
but I'm just stumped. I don't know what to think of this. I've got one more trick up my sleeve though, and I think this might be what will actually work. So because of the fact the wind is always blowing this way, I'm going to place a tent over here and then go somewhere else to change the time and then fast travel over here and try to approach him from a much better angle. If this doesn't work, I don't know what will. Okay, I think this plan is actually going to work. Spotlight is just behind those two does. And if everything goes to plan, we can probably get within caller range and start calling them in. I hope this works. I'm out of ideas at this point. This is our last go at it. I really don't see anything else that we could try to get this guy to come in. This has really just turned out to be the most elusive deer I've ever come across and by far the most puzzling because it's just such a weird scenario. We've had two shots seemingly go through him. He's got that giant spotlight on his forehead and it's one of the weirdest twistiest racks we've ever come across. This has just been a whole myriad of different weird things. Now it is a known issue for this deer or I guess this rack in particular to have kind of that weird spotlight effect coming off of it. That's something the devs already know about but something that's I've never seen happen with this type of rack is the whole like ghost bullets where it seems like I'm not even shooting anything at them and it's just going through them. That might be something new that needs to be looked at so I'm definitely going to keep an eye on that and see if it happens again. It's just so strange and th this video is going to end up being probably way longer than I wanted it to be. I was intending this to be like a 12 to 14 minute video. I, I wouldn't be surprised if this thing ends up being like 20, 25 plus. This is ridiculous. Oh my gosh, finally. We might be able to seal the deal here. We're finally within like 50 meters of this buck and I think we can finally get him down. I just got to find a spot that I'm hidden again and get slightly more broadside and this hour and 15 minute chase might finally be over. Oh my gosh, there he is. Okay, he's attentive now. Can maybe get his attention just to get him out of that group because I definitely need him to move. Oh my gosh, we finally did it. Oh my gosh, that was like what an hour and 25 minutes roughly to get this guy down, but we finally did. Um, I'm not going to waste any time since we are in multiplayer. Is this guy a diamond? Please be a diamond. It's a diamond 319 and oh my gosh, that rack is disgusting, but you know what? I'm okay with it because we somehow managed to complete that uh, insane stock that we had started with the Iron Sights 243. Wow, that was crazy. Absolutely crazy. I don't know why it says zero meters for tracking distance either because it clearly wasn't. This is just all kinds of weird with this kill. I, I don't even know what to think of everything that's happened, but this is by far like the most interesting chase I've had for a trophy. An hour and 25 minutes spent chasing it down. Uh, it just happened to be the really bugged rack that's kind of broken looking. And it's just been the most elusive deer as well. But honestly, it was all worth it because we managed to seal the deal with a 25 meter hard shot. That was crazy. You know, even though this mule deer may be one of the more ugly ones we've killed and just strange in general, I think because of the story behind it and the crazy chase that it took to actually get this guy down, we have to make it a part of our main lodge and add it to this wall of mule deer over here. Now the question is, which one do we replace because most of these I'd like to keep here, but I think we got to get rid of the touching brow tines rack. This is a pretty high scoring one for that rack, but I think this guy's a little more special. You know, honestly, looking at it like this, this is actually one of the better looking, I guess, uh, varieties of this rack that I've seen. Flinter killed one of these recent, or not recently, but shortly after they fixed this rack, or uh, quote unquote fixed. But 
His was way more twisted and weird looking than this one, and I think we got lucky with the fact that it isn't more twisty. This one still looks like it could be like a real buck that could possibly bend that way, but it's still not the greatest looking rack in the world, but I mean, I'll take it. We got pretty lucky with it being a nicer version of this rack, and the chase behind it was crazy enough to where this guy deserves a place in our lodge. Uh, but that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you're brand new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, click that like button, and ring that notification bell so that you guys will never miss any of the future uploads. Also, be sure to leave a comment down below on what your craziest chase was for a diamond or a rare. Just like the craziest, longest, most unexpected chase you guys have had. And I will try to respond to as many of the comments as possible. And also, let me know if you guys want to see more random wheel videos, because I do enjoy making these quite a bit. With that being said, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace!